What's up guys? It's Eagle McMahon and as you can see behind me is the beautiful Clackamas River in uh, Estacada, Oregon. We're at Milo McIver State Park right now and um, just absolutely loving life. And I just want to kind of show you what's in my bag. For those of you who don't know, the Kono Piche Day Open in uh, Czech Republic happened uh, two or three weeks ago and I wasn't too happy with my play so I decided to completely redo my bag. I gave away all my discs to some guy in um, Czech Republic, so I'm working with pretty much 90% new discs. I kept a few old ones in there, but I'm really excited to show you what I got going for me. Starting off, I'm carrying two main putters. I have a P line P2 right now. I really like this run. It feels really good in my hand. Uh, I'm using this for most of most every putt right now, and. Uh, I don't know, I just really like the way it feels. It's going in for me, it's working really good. Another one I have is my signature uh, P-Line P2. I'm also really liking this one right now. It's just a, kind of a warm-up putter. It's pretty stiff plastic, so if it ever gets pretty hot, I'll probably switch to this instead of using um, the P-Line I'm using now. But uh, putting feeling pretty good, and that stamp's really sick. I'll go into my throwing P2s. It's pretty much the same as my previous in the bags. I'll start off, I have a really beat up D-line. This used to be Eric Oakley's old putter. who won um, Fort Stelecom Open with it. So it's a super beat up D-line. I pretty much only throw it for uh, flippy straight shots, little turnovers, maybe some glidey putts I need to get out of some uh, woods with. Basically kind of just a, a utility putter. My go-to is Jerry. Jerry Garcia, oh my gosh. It's a white S line, an older run. Pretty much throwing it for all, like anything under 250 feet, kind of straight, straight to maybe a little turnover, a little hyzer. It's kind of just point and shoot right now. I'm really liking it. Next is the, the Beefcake, C line P2. Really overstable for a putter. I can trust it pretty much to always come back left. Good in some uh, wind, windy weather and uh, it's, just uh, it holds true to being an overstable putter. Really digging that. And I want to shout out uh, Jeff Corns right now. I don't know if you can see. It's put Team Dismania across the top. Eagle logo here. It's the graphic shop in Eugene, Oregon. If you're ever in the area, go uh, go check him out. He is awesome. Buy him a, a Boss Man coffee at Dutch Post across the street. Let's get in the, the main Frisbees. One of, the, one of the discs that's been a lot around for a while is this Glow Gator. There's chipmunks wrestling around over there. Uh, the Glow Gator, um, just really overstable, really liking it, and I didn't give it away in Czech Republic, so it's one of the discs that stayed in. New one, Prototype P-Line MD3. Pretty much for all woodsy shots, kind of little turnovers. I'm really, really controllable. I'm really liking this thing for um, just a little bit slower arm speed. You can pretty much put it wherever you want it to and it'll stay straight. Here's the Glow MD3s. Ah, oh gosh. Pack tight. Another old one, the Wolverine European Open stamp. This has been in the bag for a long time. I remember the last in the bag I did in Spin TV, I said I lost at Fiesta Lakes, but luckily it came back to me. This one's really straight right now, good for turnovers. It was uh, it was a hard one to get rid of because it ha I really hadn't throw thrown it too much, but I'm I'm happy that I kept it. Next one, shout out <laughs> Das Loomis. I don't know if you know him. He won um, Masters at Aussie Open. This disc, C Line Glow MD3, older run, super beat up. This thing made me like this golf again. I could throw it, little little hyzer, pops up straight, rides right so controllable and you can still put some good power on it this is probably my go-to blow mb3 at the moment got two more for you old big shield stamp uh glow mb3 for kind of straight to hyzer shots still has some good stability um just w i'm wanting it to beat in over time to eventually get to where that last one was like but for now it's uh it's good for just some hyzers. And last but definitely not least, this thing is for my really overstable, my overstable shots. 
uh, brand new Glow MD3 from the latest run. It's surprisingly really overstable. So if it ever gets windy or I know I need to get left, I'm uh, throwing this brand new Eagle Man Glow MD3. I got three FDs in the bag. First one I'll tell you about is I've the D-Line FD. If you look, uh, black ink disc stamp, super cool. Check them out. Blair Furstenberg out of uh, Springfield, Missouri. If you want to get your hands on some sweet uh, stamps, check Black Ink this out. Simon has a stamp as well, and they also have some really cool other work. But what I'm throwing is a D-Line FD, basically only for uh, rollers or a rare occasion, like a, some trick shot out of the woods. But uh, yeah, D-Line FD. I told you about it before if you've watched any previous in the bags. We've got two FDs in the bag, or three FDs, but two premium plastics. Start off with C line. This one's pretty much for all straight shots. For some reason, it's surprisingly overstable for an FD. I'm absolutely loving it. I can give it some juice and it'll just ride straight. Maybe hides your back a little bit. And uh, flippy, flippy FD. Super, super flippy in the woods. Controllable. Probably throw it for some rollers. Haven't really found too much use for it, but it's definitely something that's good to have in the bag. Another gem in the bag, FD3. I don't know what I could, I couldn't go without this disc. My go-to at the moment is another disc I got from Dos Loomis, Metal Flake. It's a lot flatter than most Metal Flakes. I don't know how that happened, but it's not that overstable, but super controllable, really good for flicks, kind of low hyzer skip shots, really liking it. It's kind of just like a beat up Firebird. Then I got Peach. For some reason, this color out of the, I think it's the second on FD, FD3s, came out so much more overstable than the rest. I'd, I'd relate it to probably just like any other Firebird, border, borderlining on like a fat Firebird even. Super overstable, really like it when it gets windy or need something to go left. FD3, super important. Now switching it up. I used to only carry third runs, but this was, they were really, when I gave away my disc at Czech Republic, it was kind of hard for me to get rid of the third runs, but I just said, screw it, I need a change. But I put a new third run in my bag. It's um, really straight, a little bit of fade. It doesn't have much turn, so I can, I can put it on a line with some good juice, and I can count on staying straight and not drifting to the right. Really liking the third run still. Still an amazing, amazing run of disc. My go-to at the moment is the new Swirly S-Line PD. Has a little bit more turn than your average PD, but also has good stability. Been throwing this for almost every PD shot. Just, I don't know, it just feels good in the hand, looks pretty, and I am sure that you'll hear me talk about this disc for some time to come. Thank you, Avery Jenkins. First run PD. They're by far the most stable PD. Best feeling. I just carry one in the bag. It comes out on rare occasion just because I don't want to lose it. I can just throw it really hard and it'll go straight and fade hard left. Really beautiful disc. If you ever can find a Champion PD with pat numbers on the bottom, pick it up. That means it's first run. Really special disc. The new disc I'm trying out, S-Line CD3. I was throwing a C-Line, but we, uh, I'm in Oregon right now, we were in Eugene, Jeff Korn's got a mystery box, and I think it was the first disc on top, the S-Line CD3, I felt it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this feels really good. I was digging the C-Line, but when I put the S-Line in my hand, I'm like, wow. I'd say they're a little bit more overstable than the C-Lines, but I'm throwing it for kind of, I'm throwing for rollers, hyzer flips, or just dead straight shots. 11 speed so you can still get some really good distance on it. I recommend pretty much any player trying an S-Line CD3. Everyone or players from all skill levels can uh, find something to do with this disc. Before getting into the PD2s, I need to jump in and tell you about the new PD3. Just kidding, it's a Metal Flick Max. We did, um, uh, Jeff's friend in uh, California has a hot stamper and he made up this stamp, so super cool. 
It's basically, we got some PD2 stamped up, mostly Metal Flake Maxes. Um, but just thought it was funny. It was always an ongoing joke how the Metal Flake Max should be the PD3. But finally got one stamped up, stamped up. Looks pretty sick. Just Metal Flake Max, by far the most overstable disc I've ever thrown. So comes out in Texas or wherever I need. Something to get super hard left. Last but not least, got my PD2s. Or I pulled out the CD3. Oops. Start off with Flippy. I got a white S line. Probably the most understable version of the PD2 I've thrown. Kind of acts like a, a Flippy destroyer. Not a Flippy destroyer. Um, like a destroyer. It can get some good turn on it, but still comes back. Really liking it. Once it gets beaten a little bit more, I'll start throwing rollers with it. Swirly S line. Pretty much for sidearms or all control PD2 shots. Still it's pretty stable, but can get a little bit more turn than uh, than most other ones. Trixie's back in the bag. Really liking this. Super overstable. Comes out whenever I need to fight a headwind or get back left and still get really good distance. It's uh, the Hypno Huck stamp. If you see any of these, hit me up. I might take them from you. Last but not least, I'm so sorry, I forget your name, but you gave it to me. C-Line PD2, second run. Some guy on Facebook just uh, gave it to me because he knew I threw it, and I am absolutely loving it. Really good stability, get some super good distance. Absolutely loving this one right now. Has a lot of life left. The more it beats in, the farther it'll go. So, really digging that. And I don't really think there's anything else in there. Just want to... Shout out Lucario. Some people hooked me up. Got a Lucario in my bag. Got a little, little Grateful Dead turtle on there. Grateful Dead here. Thanks, David Logison. You hooked me up with um, a little Pokemon badge that's been on the bag for a while. Corey Jones from Oregon, or not from Washington, hooked me up with that. Uh, whatever it's called, Pokeball, glass one. But still, still rocking the United Chains Pokeball Mini. Haven't lost it yet. I think that's about it. I want to I wanna thank Jeff Horns for helping me shoot this. I think it'll come out pretty good because this, this is one of the best backdrops I think I've ever had from the bag. I want to shout out my sponsors, Dismania, Grip Equipment, Dude Clothing, Black Ink Discs, Adidas, and Rick Ruins. Until next time, guys, keep on dreaming.